Right, so just an update. Um, since I started it, it was just a block of Makara. So now it's starting to resemble a bit more of a handle now, which is good. So I'm slowly getting there. Um, to be honest, I've been sanding mostly by machine. I haven't done much hand sanding yet. I'm going to have to do it to get it really, you know, spot on. Or the best I can do, really. Um, a few things I learned. You must, must wear a mask. Um, preferably something with filters like this. I tried a dust mask and uh, the next day couldn't breathe. So it wasn't working too well. Um, the other thing is um, into this type of sander. Um, I used a Hoover attachment. Um, the two or three times I didn't in the beginning, I just had dust everywhere. So I'm gonna have to deep clean this because this stuff is really toxic um, with resin and stuff. So you gotta really be careful with that kind of stuff. And also eye protection. Um, other than that, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, the other thing I had a problem with was the pins. Make sure you get the correct pins. These ones fit, but um, these ones weren't going in deep enough that go on the other side of it. So what I had to do was that's it there. But what I had to do was I had to trim that bit there, which is not too secure. So I'm hoping uh, the epoxy is going to do most of the job of keeping it together. Um, what else do I have a problem with? Right, so I, I got two screws that were the same uh, size as the holes here. And I was holding them together um, with both handles and a knife and a nut on the other side and doing my sanding that way, as you've seen. Um, just to make sure everything was even so instead of having to put the Actual pins I'm going to use on I just use a nut and bolt which saved me a lot of time also and if I scratched these I didn't really care So that's my little tip. So now I'm going to continue on with this and um, hopefully it'll come out well um, I did what it's a bit thin to what I wanted to do was um, Do the edging all the way around so you can see the black and green better I'm going to sand, flat sand this now and then see what I can do. But I'm trying to make a bit of a pattern, but it's going to be, again, my first time doing this. I never really messed with this stuff before, but I'll give it a go. So um, stay tuned now. Let's get back to it. Right, so after sanding, I rounded off the edges here and I did a little bit of a pattern. I didn't go crazy. It looks sharp point there, but that's how the knife is also. So I just copied the knife onto the micarta handles. On the inside I did right and left so I know which side's which when I'm putting them back together so I'm not mixing them up. I roughed up the inside. I'm going to um, epoxy them now and hopefully um, everything will set nicely and then um, we'll finish this off. Hey guys this is a wrap up to my vlog now and I just wanted to show you the finished piece. Um, there you go. That's some of the mistakes I made. I grinded the metal a little bit when I was sanding it down. I'll show you my mistakes. But overall, there's a little bit of gap there. The problem I had, the main problem, was the pins. Because I didn't have the correct pins, I pretty much had to make my own up. So I'll give you a close-up anyway. I mean, the pins came out alright. And good enough for me just to get, use my knife. They're all flush. They're all sanded down. And it's a good, good feel. Nice rounded on the edges. Um, I'll give you a proper close-up in a second, but um, thanks to Dave Tilling for making the blade for me um, I learned a lot uh, by doing this a nice little project Kept me busy definitely it took me a week to do this. Um, I do work a lot. So it's just in the evenings really um, Really happy with the results. So now the next part is making a sheath I'm thinking of doing a kydex insert with a leather on the outside because I think because of the shape of the blade, that's going to be a bit of a pain to um, put in a normal leather piece. It's, I've seen some wood that has a snap over on the bottom of it, but I'll have to have a play around. Um, I bought, I ordered some leather, I ordered some Kydex, so I'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, so thanks to Dave for making the knife for me. Um, I got some other stuff in the projects in the works. Um, if you want to support uh, small YouTubers, or just us in general, because a few of us doing channels now. Um, go to Tiawaki channel. I will put a link in the description box below. 
and that way you can watch our videos and there's some more information on there. A few of us got together like Pepperdale, um, Knife Monkey, Four Directions Buzz Craft, um, Prepper Guy, um, and so we'll put some of our information on a website, so, you know, to try to get a bit more, um, you know, like a promotion to ourselves outside of YouTube because there's problems with YouTube at the moment, but. You know, we're just trying to go outside YouTube for a bit and think outside the box. So there's a website. I'll put it down below. Have a check on it. Um, oh, and that, thanks for watching the vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. Just, you know, if you're doing it for the first time, you know, here's some mistakes I made. This is what I did. So maybe when you do your project, this might help you. Um, sanding it down was, you know, a lot of it was by hand. Uh, not by hand, by machine. Uh, using that. And then after that, I made this out of a ruler just to get the edging and also to get these round groovy bits I use a Dremel so beside the machine the Dremel and a bit of hand sanding with a, with a ruler that's what I used can you do it by hand of course but always wear a respirator that's really important uh, there's dust everywhere the first two times I did it and then after that I plugged my hoover into my grinder and then I didn't have that much of a problem but yeah, loads of information for you guys. I hope I didn't make it too boring. I'm going to go edit it now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you next one.